Hey guys, Vigaman here and welcome back to Haven Bay. Today we're doing some kind of time-lapse episode instead of a let's build first person. Some of you guys had some split opinions on how I should do this series here, so I want to try to, to please all of you with a combination of both time-lapses and first person let's build. In today's episode we're going to be building in front of the castle or the fortified manor as I think it's more of a fortified manor than a castle because it's not massive and it's not meant as some kind of castle it's just for protection and keeping the lighthouse up and running but I do want to have a small castle wall around it or at least in the front to protect it uh, the castle is surrounded by cliffs so on all sides it should be safe uh, but not in the front so that's why I'm building a wall here with the gate and just to keep everything safe and then beside or behind the wall here in between the castle or the fortified manor and the wall I want to build a lot of cool stuff and kind of have like this yard garden thing where we're gonna have some orchards with uh, oranges because uh, I did some research trying to figure out what kind of plants could you farm in a, an environment like this and oranges can grow in deserts uh, I've seen and uh, kind of found out that they can and also olives and grapes can grow in here and I also decided to um, to make a small herb farm as well where you farm a little bit of herbs that you can use for tea or possibly medicine and stuff so I think the end result is pretty cool so hope you guys just gonna stay with me here as I talk you through uh, what I'm doing here and now I'm building a path here which is very cool I tried to make it very unique with a lot of different blocks and elevations and uh, to break up the flatness of the road and that's something I want to try to do and since we have this very uh, special terrain here uh, a lot of this layer blocks is it it's what it's called where you can uh, kind of create your custom height on the blocks uh, I will use that a lot when it comes to paths and stuff like that because I think it turned out really really nice You can see the depth of the road anyway uh, working on the first orchard here Which is gonna be an orange one you see that I have some lines of orange trees uh, Which you know look very cool. I think it adds a lot nice atmosphere I tried to ma not make the trees way too tall so it doesn't block much of the view of the fortified manor here so that's kind of the whole idea behind this and I want, I want to use these farms as um, some kind of provision in case of a war and the people of the, the town we're currently building in a first person view uh, would have to move behind the castle walls so we would still have a lot of food to feed all of them. I think it's a nice place to, to have some plants and stuff because it's in front of the castle, it adds some greenery and adds some gardens, it would be a nice place for them to be. Uh, we're done with the olives, uh, it's actually grapes, but I just want to pretend it's olives, and then we're building the herb farm right now. Then I also think we're going to have a small stable for horses here in the side, so you're going to see that very soon now, we're working on that right now actually. Uh, and since it's built in a slope, I want to have two layers to it, so kind of two leveled stable, and I think that turned out really cool, it's a little bit more unique than a normal a one leveled stable so I think that's pretty cool gonna just have two horses here for now uh, and I'm, I'm not sure if we should have more than only two but I guess it's okay and then just doing some decoration adding some uh, of these curtains kind of to protect the horses from the Sun and it also adds a nice detail and then building a nice tree here which I've been using all around the place then the last thing I want to do is to build the barracks because even though it's not a big castle it's more of a fortified manor uh, we need some people to keep them safe and the barracks is a place where you would be keeping your soldiers and guards and stuff so I build this alongside the wall here because first of all it's nice to just kind of squeeze it up towards the wall to save space and you can have direct access to the battlements from the barracks so uh, that's pretty cool and we also have this small tower to get a little bit higher viewpoint to uh, to kind of check out who's coming to the gate or coming towards the wall if they're enemies and you know to, to detect people I guess. But what I, what I also want to do is to go down in first person and show you uh, what we have done and kind of talk a little bit about all of that. So uh, let me build the rest here done and I'll come right back with you. Alright guys, we are now inside of the castle 
itself or the fortified mana. I keep saying that wrong. Hope you guys understand what I tried to say here. And just in here, I think it's super cool. I like the atmosphere. But now, once we go out of this fortified manor here, everything looks super cool as well, I hope. Let, let me know what you think of what I've done here, guys. I'm up for feedback. You guys were amazing with feedback on the last episode. And I'm going to take all that into account and kind of work around that to, uh, to come up with something good. But look at this. I think it's super cool once you just go out here then we have another well right here which goes down to the same kind of spring as the one inside of the castle here does so these go down to the same spring down far down below and then we have like a wagon to to bring some of this around because you need to water all of these orchards around here as well and then we have some barrels and some just stuff to, to bring water in, I guess, and some storage or like uh, yeah, barrels and crates and stuff. Well, things that have been dumped up here, I guess. And then like towards the cliffs here, I just kind of had some some plants and stuff growing and then some barriers to kind of keep you on the track here so you wouldn't kind of fall down and hurt yourself. And uh, let's check out uh, the grape yard or... I kind of want this to be olives, but I guess there's no such, such thing as olive plants in this mod pack. But uh, yeah, you can, you can pretend whatever it is, but it's okay. It's very, very basic, and when you get close to it, it doesn't look that great. But when you get a little bit away from it, it looks very nice, I think. I like how it's diagonal instead of just going and following the block line. And then we have a nice tree here. These are supposed to look like elephant trees. It's uh, inspired by the elephant trees, which is a, an actual tree growing in the deserts. So that's something really cool, I think. Then we have the orange orchard here. I like the, the colors, the feelings it has, and I like that you can kind of walk alongside them and then pick the oranges. So I think that's a very nice feature. Then there's like two entrances here to either side of this. Very cool. Uh, another elephant tree, and then a small yard here with uh, get some bushes and stuff, and you know, kind of to hold you on the path here and don't fall off the cliff. Uh, then we have the gatehouse, which is very simple. The gate should have some more details. I just realized that, but that's something I can get back to. Uh, and then we have like a, you can get on top of the battlements here. You can see that on the side here. Uh, the battlement is kind of broken off, and that's just because uh, uh, this mesa here is very, very soft rock. So uh, this will be torn down over time, and uh, the part of the battlement which was built on top of uh, some of the rock here would have fallen down as the, the mountain was um, carved out by winds and stuff like that. So this part here is just kind of fallen off because of weather, irrigation, and stuff like that. Uh, we can walk up here alongside the oranges. Then we have the small stable, which you saw. I think it's very cool. We have some horses. And then we have another one of these elephant trees. Uh, very cool on a small hill here. And you can get on top of the battlement here as well. Walk around here like that. Uh, you can also go into uh, the barracks, which is not furnished, which I will do off camera. And then we have... Uh, just some you know, backyard area here for the warriors and guards and stuff to train. We can kind of punch these ones with swords and stuff, I guess. And we have some storage for arrows, spears, and things you would need to protect here. And then another sack you can kind of kick in or hit or whatever. And then you can go back here to the herb farm, which is just to kind of, I, I suppose, tea making. Uh, I kind of uh, googled around trying to find some flowers that could grow in the deserts, like herbs and stuff. And it looks kind of like this. It had like this very bright pink uh, color. And I think it's it turned out really cool. And from afar, it looks very cool, I think. But that, my friend, that is all I got time for today in today's episode. It's been a many hours worth of progress here, but I love it. I think it's super fun to build here, and I'm so inspired. So I hope you guys like what I've done here. I hope you guys can call me suggestions and feedback and stuff. If so, make sure to leave them down below. And yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed. If so, make sure to smack that like button. And if you haven't done it already, make sure to subscribe. It's been Vega Man, and I'm out.